One little man accused of shooting and killing his father in court today, 23-year-old Malachi Ortiz, being held in jail on a charge of second-degree murder. Police believe there was a struggle between the two men early Sunday morning. The victim, Pastor Roman Ortiz, was shot. Paramedics could not save him. The younger Ortiz scheduled to be back in court Thursday. A plea hearing has been scheduled for December. And several members of the Lord's Vineyard Fellowship Church met with Ortiz's family this afternoon to offer their condolences and honor his life. News 5's Andy Cohen was there for the event. He's in studio now with a closer look at how that family's coping. Andy. There's a lot of emotional trauma right now. Really, it's like losing two people. Rosine Ortiz, Pastor Roman's widow, told us the best way the Pueblo community can help them is to pray. Roman Ortiz had been pastor here at the Lord's Vineyard Fellowship for more than 20 years. It's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard without him. I mean, he was a man that spoiled all of us. His wife, Rosine, was there when he died. I was in the kitchen, and I just heard a pop, and... When I ran into the living room, they were just tussling over the firearm. She was able to grab the gun and stop the fight, but said afterward her husband just collapsed. Dialed 911. I got a voicemail five times. Um, I just started panicking. I didn't know who to call. I, I believe I called my daughter, but then 911 called back. And when paramedics got there, he was still breathing. He was fighting. He was fighting for his life. She believes her son was intoxicated and that the shooting was unintentional. She spoke with him afterward, and he seemed unaware of what he'd done up until the police explained why he was being arrested. Rosine asked the Pueblo community for prayer and forgiveness. If Roman could speak down from heaven, he would say, you know, to forgive, forgive Malachi. Church leaders are tentatively planning a public funeral for Pastor Ortiz on Saturday morning at Praise Assembly of God on East Troy. We'll update you as those details are finalized. Watching out for you, Pueblo, Andy Cohen, News 5.